Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsusi, and welcome back to Beltless Fuck Junior. Where last time we finished off the uh, uh, remaining parts for military science. Not that we have produced any, because um, we were working on the uh, on the red uh, ammunition. And uh, I'm wondering why this train is waiting here. Um, because it's set wrong. And now it wants to go to train fueling. And that brings up the first project because last time we noted that for this fueling station, all our trains, which by now are almost 40, go through this one station. So that's basically a bottleneck and um, therefore it would make sense to uh, have a second uh, uh, fueling station uh, and we can have that one over here and then we will probably have even more fueling stations as uh, our base is growing so um, uh, let's actually go down there, copy this thing, um, have it here, and we can basically move everything on that side. Don't need this, probably. Then all these inner parts. And then we have to clean up the space in here. And extend our squarish rail network up here so i will build this uh, this up and then we can see uh, what we will do next because we have lots to do with our second fueling stop i had to tweak things a bit um, uh, for the unloading stations so that those stations are only enabled if there is actually need for additional coal in the chests here because otherwise our fuel train would probably always prefer to go to this uh, uh, fuel station to unload coal and not to the uh, other one which is further away and what have we here okay let's back up a bit and then go to here that should solve the problem getting the trains unstuck and uh, rolling again another thing that i want to start to tackle is uh, energy um, we still have enough for the moment but as we add more and more stuff uh, we might get into a bit of trouble and 
on this field you can already see here coal is running out for the uh, turbines and over here we could just add more uh, on this side but even that is somewhat limited by the amount of uh, water we can uh, put through so i am thinking we might uh, also add a few solar panels uh, to our uh, energy mix and um, in some of the squares we do have a bit of space for example here we can place uh, solar panels up there then here with the with the loading stations um, also there in between we have space there and there so we can place those wherever we can fit them in and that should help us uh, with a bit of uh, more power uh, looks like we have uh, a bit of rail piece missing there um, and of course we also want to have some accumulators for that we probably need to uh, uh, craft some uh, batteries uh, out of uh, sulfuric acid so let's do that in a, a cheeky way if I can get unstuck here um, batteries we need that in there we need a output chest and we need power um, let's do that here and there okay that sorts the batteries and then uh, we only have to I think ooh, everything is blinking red which means they want more coal so let's see what we have here 400 not sure if that's enough then up here we can also place uh, um, an assembly machine for um, solar panels and that's it for the uh, for the coal so solar panels are not that difficult so let's add one here output there then we have three inputs um, what was it steel copper and green circuits copper uh, steel I have stockpiled a bit because I knew this was coming Right then here we have those and then maybe here we can have batteries batteries battery uh, accumulators 
which we will have to fill in there and then have an output. Um, I think we, this one we will not limit. Um, I don't think we need to limit that because it's limited by the input. So while that is set up, um, I will go fetch a few batteries and then we can turn our attention to the real project um, for today. I'll probably also a few green circuits. Um, because today I want to uh, do a bit more with uh, what we have here in the processing, especially having a proper setup for plastic. And the place we do that is up here, I think, in uh, this square. And for plastic, we need the petroleum gas that we can pipe and the coal that we have to deliver. So basically that would be the same setup as here. We have one input delivered by train, one output picked up by train and then we have to see how to do the the the, the piping uh, to get everything in maybe we can somehow get that here in the middle we will see uh, but that's basically the the setup we are going with and i can put these goodies into uh, the chests uh, hopefully also stock up on coal there and then lay out the plastic factory plant and then we will see how we deal with uh, uh, the issue of um, of the piping. I think with this setup we can do something. We have the inputs on the two sides, I mean the uh, lower and the upper side, south and north, facing outward. So for the inner one we can do something like this and have all the inputs hooked up and then down here we can basically bridge over and connect these two together and then have pipe going there and connect those two up. We also do that on this side and on that side and then we connect the upper and the lower part and then we have to get the uh, petroleum input from down here. And probably at some point we have to uh, consider uh, also using uh, pumps so that we get enough uh, petroleum around uh, to the different uh, machines um, where it is needed. And here and then connect this together and 
Yeah, it's just one short, so let's do that then. And let me do the same thing here on the top. And then, of course, we need even more trains. And maybe we should also have... No, I think for plastic we don't need a waiting station because as far as I can remember, plastic is only needed for the red circuits. So we might have multiple uh, squares that produce red circuits, um, but we will not have different type of, uh, of trains for that. So probably, at least for now, we can deal with the uh, the output of uh, the plastic plant uh, with limiting the number of of trains um, that we allow on here. All the piping is now also in place, and down here I added two pumps. Uh, on either side. The wiring is a bit um, awkward, especially here on that side where we have to sneak the pipe around. But looking all over, we have uh, petroleum going everywhere. So now all we need to do is add a train. Uh, that will be our coal train. So, where shall we send that? Uh, probably to the coal field. Um, full cargo. Then, um, coal delivery one, coal delivery two fueling station train fueling that's the easy one where we have five seconds then here we have empty cargo and here we have item count cold stacks to 50 so that's um, 500 per row. So a full train has 2000 coal loaded. Right, that should do it. Assuming the uh, train station is not occupied. And maybe we need to have a second coal loading station. Uh, yeah, and this does not really work. That's why I went ahead and uh, removed various signals in between. So we have signals around our uh, our crossings but not in between so that we do not hold up the, the the trains and potentially block the the crossing there so uh, let's skip that one and uh, just see if this actually works as uh, it should be yeah basically skip the first one because uh, the train was not uh, full enough to have things in it but we get plastic out of it and by the looks of it we can supply the coal fast enough so that these machines are running constantly and we are even stockpiling 
a bit here. Um, yeah, that does it for this episode and uh, uh, probably next time we will see about those uh, those solar panels and accumulators but as well what can we do with all that plastic so i hope you enjoyed this episode uh, if you did so please consider leaving a like do subscribe uh, so that you are uh, aware when the next one comes out especially if you also had the bell notification thingy and i will see you then goodbye